Minasan Konbarwam. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Saitama Super Arena here in Saitama, Japan. It is now time as Komosa AG proudly presents to you the final of the World Boxing Super Series in the Bantamweight Division. The quest for the greatest prize in all of boxing ends here tonight as Naoya Inoue faces off with Monito Donaire for the coveted Muhammad Ali Trophy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the combatants in tonight's main event of the evening. First, a four-division world champion, originally from Boha, Philippines, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Filipino Flash, Nonita Donay! Well, a future boxing Hall of Famer makes what could be one of the final ring walks of his professional career. It says a great deal about the high regard in which his opponent is held that Nonito Donaire enters the ring tonight, an eight-time four-division world champion, but he will, in the minds of the many, be the vast underdog in this fight. It was a famous and unprecedented knockout win over Vic Darchinian as a 24-year-old flyweight that launched his career at championship level. And it says so much about the professionalism and dedication to the sport that just one week shy of his 37th birthday, he boxes tonight at the same weight he made his debut at 19 years ago. Rose up through the divisions, winning titles at fly, bantam, super bantam and featherweight, carrying speed and power through all and only really losing to the very best in each weight division. Question marks over him are of course age related mostly now and also that an unlikely path was cleared for him in this competition due to injuries to the number one seed Ryan Burnett during their fight and to Zelani Tete a few days before they'd even entered the ring. Late replacement Stefan Young was game but an overmatched semi-finalist. Could this be the night that Donaire cements his legacy? And now making his entrance, please welcome from Yokohama, Japan, the knockout sensation and the undefeated champion, the monster, Naoya! Well, a punch-perfect and destructive tournament from Nao Inoue thus far has earned him every right to be considered a favourite going into tonight's final. I think it's fair to say he'd have that label regardless of whether it was Donair, Burnett or Tete in the opposite corner tonight. He's looked that dangerous, that intelligent, that destructive. It is so, so hard to look past that man. 20,000 in the Super Arena Saitama in a standing ovation for Naoya Inoue. WBA regular belt, the IBF at Bantamweight and the Ring Magazine too. The one question that hovers over him perhaps will be answered tonight is to date, he has yet to be hit by a real one-punch knockout artist. They are a rarity in the lower weight divisions. Donaire though is certainly one of them among the most prolific pound-for-pound -pound punches in the last decade and a half and while some of the more subtle aspects of his game may have diminished he proved against Stefan Young in the semi he can still end the fight in the blink of an eye Nayo Renue will know that for him the same applies he's got the youth the sharpness of feet and the reflexes to tenderize more stubborn opponents who simply won't fold under the first wave of attack but he's in against the man with guile experience and 
the ability still to take the sting out of shots. And you're showing the patience in those eventualities to plan for the longer distance too. A defining night for Nayu Inoue in victory this evening. He would stake his claim in the pound for pound list. Representing And now we will have a few words from the Japanese Boxing Commission. Commissioner, 
WBA スーパーチャンピオンノニト・ドネア対 WBA、IBF 統一チャンピオン、井上尚弥の12回戦は、昨日午後1時、規定通り現実なる身体検査と計量を行い、幸い、両選手ともすべてに的確でありましたので、私はこの試合を WBA、IBF 世界バンタム級王座統一戦と認定いたします。2019年11月7日、バンザイ団法人日本ボクシングコミッション、コミッショナー、後ろ氏です。And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the sold out Saitama Super Arena here in Saitama, Japan, it's time for our main event of the evening. Brought to you by Kamosa AG, 12 rounds for the coveted Muhammad Ali Trophy, along with the IBF and WBA Super Battleweight Championship of the World. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside as it is sanctioned by the WBA supervisor, Tashiyoshi Yasuchi. Also, president from the WBA, Hilberto Jesus Mendoza. From the IBF supervisor, Ben Kilty. President is Daryl Peoples. Your three judges scoring this bout at ringside will be from Italy, Luigi Boscaleri. From the United States, Robert Hoyle. And from Mexico, Octavio Rodriguez. Your fourth judge, as given by the World Boxing Super Series from Germany, is Jorg Milk. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds from the United States is Ernest Sharif. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fight for the Muhammad Ali Trophy is now. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner to my right. He comes in wearing the orange with the blue, weighing in officially at a ready 117 and one half pounds. This incredible professional brings in an outstanding record consisting of 40 wins, 26 of those coming by way of knockout against five losses. Originally, from Bohol, Philippines, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. He is the four division world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Filipino Flash, Nonito. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the gray trunks trim with the black and gold, weighing in officially at already 118 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 18 bouts, 18 victories, 16 of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Yokohama, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the champion and the knockout sensation. He is the monster, Naoya Inoue. And you have to here to give instructions is Ernest Sharif. Because you the instructions in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Anything below this point is a low blow. So you're looking at the top of the trunks downward. Touch them up and go. Go. It is billed as the monster versus the legend. That is exactly what it is. An eight-time four-division champion on your screen. In the last throes of a sublime career. In many ways, the man opposite him represents the younger version of himself. Inoue has ripped through contenders as Denaire did over a decade ago. Tonight, he finds himself the elder statesman in arguably the biggest fight of his career. 12 rounds, WBA Super and IBF bantamweight titles on the line and the Muhammad Ali Trophy. Nair Inoue, if he needed any introduction in the grey shorts, trimmed with black and yellow. 
intriguing contest this, it really is. Cautious start from both men in the opening 30 seconds. Powerful backhand, sorry, to the body of Anoue. I expect to see a lot of educated pressure from Denier. Try and force Anoue back, try and get him thinking, get him working. He can get this contest into the second half of the fight. I want to have done it knowing he's made a new A work. And he's got the reputation as an explosive pound for pound puncher, but he's so much more than that too. Reads patterns and sets traps so well. With Denaire, he's made adjustments into his 30s. Stick right hand lands that time. And Denaire comes back with that famous left hook. Both men exchanging. Ooh. Taking them well there, Denaire, hasn't he? Shrugged them off, he's still coming forward. Showing that tremendous heart he's shown in his previous contest. Lively start, good stuff from Anoue there. Denaire has mixed it with the best of them. Remember that fabulous shootout with Nicholas Walters up at featherweight. His power carried all the way there too. Walters the only man really to hurt him in a contest back down at 118 pounds he is of course the former owner of the WBC and WBO straps too stiff jab there from Inoue cagey respectful but when they go they really go left hook upstairs right hand to the body like you say Chris that setting traps all the time the variation is brilliant head body and there was that check, check left hook from Denaire as Inoue steps in. Just the warning signs for him that if he does overcommit, he will be tagged. What do you say about Denaire? He's never been overawed by an opponent, even when he's been outboxed or even hurt in a contest. He's happy to stand there and trade leather. Shown a brilliant chin over the years. He takes those feet back well with him to take the sting out of punches. How much of the young... Donaire, can he bring back for this one? Good opening round there. Really exciting stuff. Inoue planting his feet, let some big shots go. Credit to Donaire there. He took them and kept coming forward. This promises to be a good contest as it really does if Donaire is willing to stand there in front of Inoue. See the work here, both jumps in the left hook, but it's the left hook of Inoue that landed. Well, they also don't hook with a hooker, it applies to them both. They both did it in that first round, Donaire missed, Inoue landed, and it will be those margins, Darren, in a fight where one fighter has faded from the best of his former self that could be the difference. No way, just finding his range a little better of the two. 20,000 in the Super Arena Saitama. Just a fight that you cannot blink down. Either man have got a game-changing punch that could land at any moment. Denaire just faints upstairs, looks for that jab to the body. Starting a little more aggressively in this round. Yeah, he is. He does favour the aggressive style of boxing. He does like to hold the centre of the ring, though he is comfortable on the back foot. Does a majority of his work going forward, pressing the pace. Inoue what that down. does allow, sorry Chris, is a new way when he does stand there. He's able to take a step back and try and counter Denaire. Denaire, who was the trap setter in the glory years of his career. And Noé lands that left hook a couple of times. Denaire's taking it really well. It's just a lovely left hook there. Delivered with real spite and snap. And we see there, he puts everything into his shot to Noé. No wonder that we've seen so many knockouts. 16 KOs. And a good left hook seems to stagger Denaire there. Knocked him off balance. As Denaire Hurt comes back with a 1-2 through the centre of the guard, right hook to the body, and another intriguing opening round and a half. You see Inoue now, it's a quiet start to the round, but now he's starting to walk forward, start to plant his feet, his feet a bit more. 
Such a really the shots go. He's really happy to trade with Denier. He knows he carries the power. Denier naturally the bigger man, of course. This is a unification fight, so there was no rehydration clause per the IBF. That will suit Denier more than it will Inoue, who's come up from the weight divisions. Not a great deal in, in sizes there, but, but you can see Denier slightly taller, slightly bigger. But the bigger punch is certainly Inoue in there. It's just the ones that Denier isn't able to read, but he's walking through them so far. Catches Inoue on the chin, short left hook. Inoue tried to hang on there. So, I mean, if, if Denier is trying to get this into the later rounds, it's so important he does it, dictating the pace, making Inoue work. So when he does get him into that second half of the contest, he's made him work an awful lot. This is good work, really showing his experience here. Taking this thing out of shots, walking forward. Good variation of shot. Using his angle, stepping to the left and right of Inoue. Good stuff from Denier. Oh, Inoue is so used to these landing and opponents falling. It's the first time where that hasn't happened in this tournament so far. Denier has eaten flush leather and shown very little of consequence by way of being hurt just staggered earlier on in this round but to blood he's cut in with that left hook no other fighter in the tournament has done that got out of the second round and blood coming from above the right eye too we'll try and get a shot of that shortly and see how bad the cut is well 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 this will be interesting now. I hope it's not a bad cut. I hope it doesn't ruin this contest. I'm trying to see. I did miss the shot. I don't know if it was a shot or a head, but that was a good left hook from a new A. And here we see that was the one that took him off balance. Here comes the left hook. There we Bang go. On the the shot. And that's the one that cut it. Opened immediately. We saw his younger brother in action. His first world title tilt against Nordini Bali unsuccessfully taken into deeper waters than he ever has been it would be a huge upset but will this man face adversity he hasn't yet seen in his career against the man one week short of his 37th birthday Denair back at centre ring so far Darren he's not given in no way the data and the patterns that some of his previous opponents have in order for him to fully take advantage he's got that right glove high above that cut just trying to shield it from perhaps another left hook but it's just the experience of the near you know forget the fact for a second that he you knows a four weight world champion the experience that he's gathered in you know the 45 fights that he's had is invaluable here you know really trying to old man and out hustle Anue. like I say try and pressurize him put him in places he's never been before so a little low with the right hand there from Denair referee just warning him of that it's interesting to see Anue not the biggest stronger man with blood from the nose now too positive signs here from Denair He'll feed off of these. Trying to plant some negative seeds in the mind of Anoue. These were, of course, the question marks that so far are just being answered by Nanito Donaire. Back down at 118 pounds, arguably a more natural weight division for him. He come up from flyweight all those years ago. He fought well at Feather and Super Bantam, but really because of his power he was able to fight up at those divisions not naturally places where his body needed to be right hand. it was a lovely counter there from Inoue he's just starting to get his range tries to exit to the left then the right the net matching his footwork keeping him against the ropes left hook to the body good stuff good positive stuff from Denair really is you know there's always that worry that someone like Inoue, can get carried away with their own hype. You know, that's understandable, and you do want to feed up off of the confidence that that brings, but there's a worry that when you're in there with someone experienced like Denair, that doubt can start creeping in. You know, am I that good? This is good stuff from Denair, it really is, you know, forcing the pace, putting pressure on Inoue that we've never seen before. 
30 seconds to go in round number three. And who would have thought this in a neck and neck encounter? Inoue just trying to find his distance and range. He's landed clean shots, no doubt about it. So far, it's Denaire who's been the boss coming forwards, landing leatheries. Cut the man who ripped through opponents en route to the final. Left hook just on the way out, but then he eats one as he stepped back in. Through three rounds, Darren, how have you got it so far? Good to know that the last two rounds have got 2 1 up. Good positive stuff. Absolutely nothing to worry about. If you're an Inoue fan, you know, the cut doesn't look like a bad one, the corner's done well. You see the blood coming out the nose or the mouth of Inoue there, but it's just that experience has shown in these first three rounds from Denier. Just out-hustling Inoue, throwing some good shots. Misses there with the left hook, there's then reactions of Inoue. I'm surprised he didn't come back with a quick counter shot, but good lively opening three rounds a lot of concern for Denaire of course is that there are so many examples of fighters unable to beat father time going all the way back to Joe Lewis Jim Jeffries as a Charles Sugar Ray Robinson too and it's difficult to watch the last throws of Roy Jones career we wouldn't want Denaire to be in that situation so far, not only has he been competitive, he is exceeding expectations in the twilight of his career. Yeah, you know, I guess he is raising question marks, people questioning, you know, their, their predictions in previous fights, but I'm sure someone like Denier would have been extremely confident in his own ability. He knows full well that he can come over here and upset the local crowd and upset the local fighter. Still an awful long way to go, but he started very positively, making a new I think all the time, not allowing him on the front foot. Constant pressure with his footwork. Good stuff. The short left hook went in, and again from a new Better work from a new Notice he's got those hands high for the first minutes of each round since the cut. That will be two. Just try and let those coagulants and work by his cut man settle in. Not an easy task, and Mike Basil in the other corner may well be called into action for Benito Donaire at some point too. Been in his corner for a decade now as well. Lovely left hook, right hand, right hand by your partners. Donaire stepped in there. He's taking a lot of these clean, Darren. Yeah, it's good work from Benito. What he's doing is he's making Donaire fall short and countering with good shots. Chris Dodge, you see every time Anoue throws a shot, it's razor sharp, full of power. You see there, good backhand, right. Boxing nice on the back foot here. He's having to work harder than perhaps he would have liked at this stage in the contest. And they're walking forward into another shot, but continually pushing Inoue backwards. And if this does go into the second half of the fight, Darren, as you said, was Donaire's plan. This is the kind of pace he would have wanted to set to test the engine of the younger champion. Absolutely. You don't want, with that game plan, a new way dictating the pace, getting into the second half of the contest, not having to have done much. So he's still fresh himself. Good lateral movement there from Denier, evading the shots from Anoue. But yeah, it's all going to plan so far for Denier, in my opinion. Though Anoue is coming back here, boxing nice on the back foot. Denier would be extremely pleased with how the first four rounds have gone. Yeah, a nice counter right hand, just as Inoue was on the turn there, exiting to his left hand side. But as you say, Inoue just in the ascendancy. That was the shot that just landed. It's really heating up. Stiff jab to the body, just parried away. Then air faints into range again. Round four. Better from Inoue, still competitive. Yeah, extremely competitive. It really was uh, a good round. You know, Inoue, I've given it to, but at the end there, Denaire landed a good couple of shots, counter right hand over the lazy jab of Inoue. But this was the good right overhand right. Didn't take it full, though, did he? No, he didn't. Lancing blow. 
you notice a lot with experienced fighters they're able to take the sting out of shots we see there that was a good slip over the jab of Anoue and he landed a good right hand and again similar to Denaid Anoue managed to take the sting out of it and roll under the left hook So beginning of round number five, not many would have predicted that it would go that far and perhaps doing a disservice to Donaire's experience and credentials over the last 19 years of action. Seeing an Inoue just took the sting out of that right hand. Inoue just starting to see these shots coming a little bit better. It's when they stand and trade on the inside that Donaire has the most success. He's been countering on the exit really well too. As a far, Inoue is not really interested in trading at the minute with Donaire, is he? He's happy to sort of move around the outskirts of the ring, try and pick these counter shots, counter left hook there. As that staggered Donaire. His hand position was responsible, but something got through on that left hook. You know, I touched on it earlier on the show, you know, the fact that Anoue, oh, that's a good right hand. Denaire took that very well, because that was flush. The fact that Anoue had 48 knockouts as an amateur is incredible. It really is, you know, a, a, a born puncher. Absolute animal, but here Denaire taking some of his best shots showing what heart what warrior he is and he'll be happy like i say how this contest is going so far there he left long time trainer robert garcia in 2014 just felt he was becoming a little too over reliant on the one punch to get him out of trouble it did against vic darchinian in the second fight it nearly did against Guillermo rigondo in the championship rounds that punch hasn't waned one bit and arguably Darren the shots that he has landed have just created a bit of early tentativity in Inoue that we haven't seen before and he's had to work his way back into this contest he has he's working off the jab really well got the jab going head and body lovely with real snap making Denaire think a little bit more about the shots there you go see the jab there beautiful but over the over the top of right hand comes Denaire well fair to say that through this fifth round, both have been chin checked on multiple occasions. Both have passed the test so far, but only one needs to land flush from either man. And it could be all over in the blink of an eye. Both semi finals were for both of the men in the final room, just as we say at the right hand lands. And it's staggered Nolito Donaire, who fires back with a left hook. In no way, sensing the moment, steps on him now. How much of this is Donaire seeing coming? Covers up, rolls, but his legs are not what they were. Another right hand lands. Moments to the bell as Inoue opens up. Check left hook from Donaire. He's firing away, but he is hurt here. Be under no illusions and saved by the bell, perhaps the old champion. Best round for Naoya Inoue. And just as we were saying, one shot can change the pattern of a fight. It did exactly that. Big, big round for Inoue there. Come out of nowhere, absolutely nowhere. Big right hand over the top. Really was a lovely shot. Fit the net switched off for a second. We see the concentration there. Oh, it was a left hook, started it on. I think it was a big overhand right that really stunned the net. But again, credit to the chin of the net. He took it well, but that was a big round. And there we go. There's the right hand. Lovely shot over the jab. The knees buckled of the net. Big, big round for Inoue. The left hand was low, he was in range. And well, he hung on. How much longer can he hang on? How hurt is he? Only he will know the answer to that, but the crowd have responded. Inoue will be too respectful of the man in front of him to go gung-ho at this point because he knows the power that's in front of him. He knows the danger that lies in over-committing, getting greedy. And I think Donaire has shown his good powers of recovery over the years too. 
round six then of a fascinating encounter here in the 118 pound tournament final you won't want to let Denner off the the hook that easily though he don't won't want to look if this was to go further further on he won't want to look back at this round of regrets I, I expect a new way to start letting his shots go very shortly looking to counter that jab of Denner the right hand in the previous round that really, really stunned the near. Callis Owland at the back of shot can be hugely proud of the fights that this tournament has brought together. Taylor and Progray, not too long ago, produced a classic. This in a different way because perhaps we expected it from Progray and Taylor. We didn't necessarily know that this would be the type of fight we'd be watching between Naya Inoue and Nanito Denaire. By a long way, the toughest test Inoue has been put through. Questions have been asked of him by a man nearly a decade, over a decade his senior. Really is a great matchup. this, you know, Yuffie experience. Both carry extremely good power. Both so eager to lift that Muhammad Ali trophy. In the superb five and a half rounds. And when Donair hooks with him is when he appears to be in danger. Inoue finding his range better and better as the fight progresses. Now just picking the jab, a weapon that is so versatile for him these days and was so much in the past for Donair. But are we just starting to see the old champion ground down as he walks into another counter right hand? Still looks fairly comfortable, but Anoue is starting to find the target a bit easier now. Cannot afford to throw that jab out slowly, Denier. Spin that right hand over the top there as we see it. That's really stunned him in the previous round. Remarkable that he's still standing in front of him, just snaps his head back there, given the leather that he's taking. And as mentally strong as we know Nao Inoue to be, that will be staying with him a touch. Second clapper to take us into the second half of the fight. Noe Lanza, check left hook there. Denaire with his hands low. And back to the corners they go. And Darren, halfway point of the contest. How have you got it? Yeah, I've got Noe a couple up. Really start getting to work the last couple of rounds. It was a good round back from Denaire, but a round that I think Noe won. Really heating up nicely. So intriguing, it really is. Good work there. Starting to plant his feet a bit more and trade in close quarters with Denier. All the while he sees those shots coming, Darren, he seems to be able to ride them and, yep. and deal with them. It's the ones that he doesn't see, and they're the ones where the traps are set, the patterns are established, that pattern is broken, and then Inoue fires through. That's where Denier could be hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Anoue is very clever and crafty at making his opponent thinking, think that nothing's going on, and all of a sudden, bang, he comes back with a big, big shot. Well, regardless of the outcome, Nanito Denet can be hugely proud of the way he's equipping himself in this. We wondered whether it would be a fight that would cement his legacy. That, of course, is already cemented. He'll be, no doubt, a first ballot Hall of Famer in years to come. That invitation will arrive in the post, but... He will be remembered tonight, win or lose, as the man who posed some serious, serious tests for a young champion that many thought had that cloak of invincibility that so many fighters do on their way up. It just takes one contest to remove that veil of invincibility. No doubt for Inoue, he is having to go to places so far that he hasn't been in his professional career before it's good to see as well absolutely you know and regardless of the result is we're holding in good stead having experience you know a cut eye and, and being forced back at times not having things your own way does help you and does help your progress moving forward stiff exchange of jabs oh lovely double jab right hand there from Denaire but again you knew I saw it rode the shot 
a left hook to the body. Concentration level on both fighters. Something to be very impressed with. You know, they understand split second, it can all be over. This jab of Anue has been a good weapon. So sharp, very quick, very spiteful. Good work again from Denea coming forward. Such a warrior, isn't he? Four weight division world champion. Five, if you in include that WBA interim title. And he won at super flyweight. Many people choose not to, that's absolutely fine either way. It's fair to say he's achieved everything that he could have in his long career. But Inoue now starting to turn the heat up with 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the spiteful shots, Chris. Planting his feet, really try, trying his best to back Denaire back. As we said earlier, Darren Denaire will be seeing some of these shots coming and he will see the patterns of movement. It's a case of whether his body at nearly 37 can respond in the way that it did. He's taking shots that he probably wouldn't have taken in the early days he's been caught with things his feet are noticeably slower for those that have followed his long career but that's to be expected it's about how the greats of boxing adapt to the likes of Roberto Duran, Harry Holmes even old Archie Moore who went on late late in the day and it was those fundamentals that became the core of an older fighter when the attributes of speed of feet and reflexes were stripped away you see what a fight is really made of we're seeing what Nanito Donero is really made of tonight absolutely but like I said in the round you know he's an absolute warrior I'll also give credit huge credit to both guys chins you know this is a question mark that was raised over Anuay's chin would he be able to take a shot would he be able to take the power of Dene but he has you know though I wouldn't say he's taken a huge flush shot from Dene he has definitely taken some big right hands and took them well <laughs> Kenny Adams is in the corner of Nanito Dene tonight probably best described more as a, a boxing institution than just the trainer these days he's Coached over 25 world champions, Diego Corrales, Frankie yeah. Lyles, Michael Nunn, Johnny Tapia, Edwin Valero, of course, until he passed. And at 79 years of age, in the long career that he's had and everything that he has seen, this arguably one of his toughest assignments. So far, they've put together a solid game plan and they are right in this. They are indeed. It's about staying switched on. Increase the work rate now. Turn the screw. Really get get to work. Try and pin a new way back. Try and get him onto the ropes. It's very good with his footwork. A new way takes the space away from his opponent so well. But that's a good right hand. Lovely stiff double right hand there. A new way just steps off for a moment. The poker face is on, but he felt those. I thought he was stunned for a second there, but he took it very well. Another good overhand right. A bit clumsy from Anoue. Let his hands drop a couple of times. He's take some, taken some good shots from Denaire. Denaire lasering in with that right hand. He's landed five or six in the last half a minute. But Inoue, a champion's response. Sticks that left hook into the body. Tries to maintain that gap. It's Denaire just sensing a bit of... A momentum shift in round eight. Jab exchange, right hand counter though from the old champion. This is terrific stuff. It really is. Both thinking, both letting the shots go. It's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, who'd have believed we'd have been into round eight of this contest with both freely trading leather. And neither men have gone down. I don't know what the odds would have been on it. Wouldn't have got much though. And now comes Inoue again with a minute on the clock because he just weathered that mini storm in the second minute of the contest. Rallies himself for a big finish perhaps to round number eight. Blood's just starting to trickle down that eye. They've done a really good job in the corner of managing it so far. Oh, stiff right hand there from Donaire. And every time you think Inoue is getting back on top, Donaire just reminds him why his reputation as a puncher is as it is uppercut left hook 
and Inoue responded and that blood really now starting to pour and is it going into the eye could that be a problem right hand from Donaire now big big round is a really the really encouraging signs for Donaire the blood flowing into the eye you may see Donaire throw the left hook a bit more now is Pinier able to find the target the chin of Anoue quite easy this round Good, good stuff from Denaire. Really showing his experience in class. Well, with this round in the bank, we think for Denaire it could be close on the cards. And if that cut impedes the vision, the blood running into the eye, just never know if we go to the scorecards before this one is over. That jab, but back, back comes Denaire. Quick, snappy right hand counter. Beautiful stuff. And it's these little short left hooks that are making that cut open up. We see inside there. And honestly, any boxer out there, anyone who's had blood trickle into the eye, it is horrible. It really does sting and makes it hard to have clear vision so like I said before I expect the yeah, okay. to start throwing that left hook a bit more and it's not a great cut right on the eyelid of Anoue well, round nine of uh, a contest that you cannot take your eyes off here in Saitama Japan just 20 miles north of Tokyo and while Japan is Spent a month and a half with the eyes of the world watching the Rugby World Cup. Tonight is boxing's time to shine on the centre stage. And, well, aren't they putting on a show for us? Great action, it really is. Cannot take your eyes off this for a second. The head right hand again from Denet. Yeah, he just can't miss with that right hand, can he? Denet, though that it's not full leverage and full power in the right hand, he has been able to find the target. The left eye of Denaire just beginning to swell a little bit. Check left hook from Inoue. He's been remarkably steadfast given some of the punches he's taken. And we're so used to seeing fighters fall after the snap of the punch lands that it's almost a little bit disconcerting to see a man stand his ground and throw back. Oh! Counter right hand from Lenito Denaire. Wow. Inoue rocked to his boots and Denaire now just sensing a moment here in round number nine. But he knows that he can't rush in. He knows he has to be careful, but he's got Inoue hurt here. Minute 30 on the clock, plenty of time to set his shots up, jabs his way in. All eyes are on the old champion. Stiff right hand lands yet again. Inoue takes it, tries to come back with a counter of his own. Another right hand, this is not in the script, Chris. This is incredible stuff from Denaire. Big right hand over the jab of Anoue. Really stunned him for a second, but credit to the chin of Anoue. But this is really, really encouraging stuff for Denaire. Very few picked him to win. One was the last man to beat him, Carl Frampton. That was at featherweight, and he said, do not underestimate the power of this man, and if you do so, do so at your peril. And he's carried it all the way back down to 118. He hurt Frampton in the last throws of a fight that the Irishman largely dominated. But he is right in this against a man who many gave him virtually no chance against at all. The face is a mess now of Anoue. Lots of blood from the eye and the nose. Having an awful lot to think about here. Really, really good stuff from Denaire. Honestly, really showing all his experience and know-how and class. Well, it was uh, a fight that he actively sought out 18 months ago. He called him out, not in a disrespectful way. He obviously just saw something that he felt he could take advantage of. Perhaps he remembers the strength he had back down at 118 pounds and just felt he wanted one last opportunity to show how great he was and he has dragged Naya Inoue into the deepest waters of his career here yeah without a doubt you know there's a huge amount of I mean wow. that's a lovely right hand 
really, really was. And Inoue tried to hang on, but Denaire again, Wiley didn't let him. There we go, right on the chin. I mean, that, that was a lovely shot. He took it so well, Inoue, though he was hurt, he managed to grab hold of him and sort of slow things down. But that was a great round for Denaire. You know, I was about to say, you know, huge pressure on Inoue. Absolutely none on Denaire. Only the pressure that he would have put on himself. So you can go in here and just do your thing. He understands how good it is and he appreciates what a good fighter he is. And he's showing it now. Into round number 10 and it's neck and neck. Has those easier contests that ended early. Helped the older champion to go into this fresher than he otherwise might have been had he got through them under more difficult circumstances. We know Inoue is fresh. He's the young, hungry puncher, as Denaire was all those years ago. But the elder statesman has been moved nicely to this final. And what reserves he does have left, he's going to leave in the ring tonight. But Inoue knows he has to start strongly here. Perhaps he senses that he even may be behind. I've got Inoue one up. But the, the momentum, 100% and definitely with Denier. But it's a good positive round to the start of round number 10 for Inoue. He's come out, but back comes Denier. It's a good jab. Nice counter right then, the left hand off the back of it from Denier. Inoue rips to the body, head snapped back by that left hand, which has served him so well over the years. Again, Denier stalking his man. Good right hand again. Anoue takes the sting out of it, but still, it's a landing shot, scoring shot. Anoue just taking a walk here, being forced back, trying to get Denier to have to reset, try to make those older legs work. But so far, they're working well. And perhaps the one thing Anoue banked on was his power offsetting the rhythm of Denaire and he has had his attention more than once but for him to still be there still firing back and arguably in the ascendancy must be mentally playing with a mind of Naya Inoue in there yeah absolutely when you've been destroying everyone in front of you with, with ease and you've probably got everybody telling you how good you are and what a great fight you are all boxing experts classing you as one of the best out there and it must be hard to not believe your, you know, your own hype and doubt can kick in, you know, when you're in a contest like this and you've got an experienced champion in front of you who really believes in himself, doubt can kick in, but this is good stuff from Inoue. Terrific combination on the inside, Denaire goes a little flat-footed for the first time in a while. Inoue just picking and moving now, but he's picking with force, looking for that exit to the left, does so well. Inoue just trying to catch him on the turn. Is he just slowing a little? Oh, good right hand. And this is now Inoue's round. Oh, and again. He hurt Denaire there, and he did. Right hand, left hook, then another right hand. Denaire just inching back for the first time in the round. Inoue starting to pick those shots. The bell came at just the right time. What a fight, honestly. Brilliant. And look at Inoue. What a warrior. An absolute monster. Getting the crowd going. That was a great finish. To round 10 for Inoue there. Honestly, great stuff. He stunned Denaire with a big overhand right. It was a short right, actually, over the top. And again, credit to Denaire. He was still there, but he was definitely stunned. And the home fans like that one. Well, let's have a look at it. It was the jab that just set the shot up, lined in his vision. And he rode that one pretty well. Pretty sure it was a short right hand that come in. Good jab from Denaire there, but it was the end of the round that was so good for Inoue. Good left to the body, didn't actually see the shot. That stunned Denaire shortly, but... And it's great round. Every, every bit as good as we had hoped it had the potential to be. Of course, there were those saying it would be over in a couple. We, of course, didn't think it would be, but deep down, you just know that when you have two guys that can switch the lights out at any stage you really wouldn't be surprised if we've been 
Had the kettle on over 20 minutes ago now, but we're still here. Championship rounds. Right oh! Inoue, Denaire is hurt here. He's dealing with it well, but Inoue will sense the shots landing cleanly. Oh. Because Denaire not taking his feet back with him. This is superb stuff from Inoue. What variation. Head, body, lead right hand. He cannot miss at the minute. Worrying times for Denaire. Lovely work from Inoue. This is class. This really is good stuff. But they're desperately trying to get back on that jab, establish the range, push Inoue backwards, just give himself a breather by whatever means necessary. He's yet to hold though. Pops that right hand from Southpaw momentarily. Can box Southpaw, doesn't do so very often. This is the home crowd now, really get behind him. That's a lovely left to the body. Lovely shot. It's hurting. I don't know what the ref's doing. Oh, he's counting now. That was a lovely left to the body, Chris. Well, he's down for only the third time in his career. It was respectful from Inoue, who let him walk away. One minute, 35. Has he made the count? He's up. And the referee says box on. He's the end of my hit. Danette digging deep. He's really hurt. Tries to hang on. Inoue wow. opening up for the finish. He's working upstairs. Is he looking for one more? Big left to the body. It's a long, long time to survive in there for the old champion who's acquitted himself so brilliantly over the last 11 rounds. But is this the end? Oh, Check left oh, hook now. He's hurt Inoue. Oh. And Denaire just stops the momentum in its tracks as we knew he could. Reads the left hook. He's still feeling that body shot, Denaire. Well, struggling to move, get out of the way of the shot from Inoue. Well, the left hand hooks got him out of jail so many times in his career. Just halted momentum for a moment, but as Inoue regathered himself for one final onslaught. 38 seconds. What a fight. This really is. What a contest. A modern classic inside Tama. As Inoue opens up again, oh. sinks the left into the body. Dene thought about taking a second knee, but he stays up. And this minute and a half will have seemed like an age for the old champion as Inoue pours forward, right hand lands, 10 seconds on the clock. Can Denaire see out the round here? Digs that right hand into the body. Remarkable, remarkable round. One of the best rounds of the year so far, Dan. What a pleasure to call. That, that was amazing. That really was great stuff from Inoue there. Superb and amazing bravery shown from Denaire. That, that, that was class. That round there was worthy of any final, any fight anywhere. It was fantastic. Well, you talk about the, the great rounds in history of boxing. People will look back on this one as one of them. Denaire turning away there. Really didn't want to go down there, Denaire, but that delayed reaction that you get a lot of the time from body shots. I know myself. Their sickeners and credit to Daenerys got up and he did at some point in that round land a short left hook that stunned Anue for a second, but that was a massive, massive round for Anue. Well, remarkably, he's the first man to his feet, Nanito Daenerys. It has been a classic, and the respect between these two will only have grown after tonight. Anue, so, so nearly. Got Denaire out of there in the last round. Can Denaire see out the 12? He feel he deserves to. Absolutely. But being the champion that he is, the fighter, the warrior that he is, he'll still try and win this. So don't expect Denaire to let some big shots of his own go. He's behind on the scorecard. So he needs a massive... He needs a stoppage. Well, long left hook just gave Inoue a pause for thought for a moment there. Opens up with those combinations again. He knows that left hook to the body. If it lands one more, how many more times can Denaire absorb those? He's got two minutes to do so, but he comes forward again. Powers of recovery, remarkable. Absolutely. They really are. And pretty. And take my hats off to the, the preparation that must have gone in for this contest because they're both still in there, still throwing big shots. Well, he's got Mike Basel and Kenny Adams in his corner these days, Denaire, and two disciplinarian strength and conditioning experts too. He would have whipped himself into as good a shape 
condition-wise, perhaps, as he's ever been. And the proof has been in the pudding. His work rate has rarely dropped, but it's a new A now. Who's in the ascendancy? This is ebbed and flowed from start to finish. Both have had their moments. The moment now is for a new A. It's just this where age and youth oh. and sharpness and strength comes into it. Just trying to break the will of Donaire. Get the sense down, we may be watching the last minute of the career of Nanito Donaire. Whatever these scorecards show, he's got the feeling of perhaps the last time he may do this. And if it is, what a servant he's been a credit to the sport of boxing over the last nearly two decades as a professional. Absolutely, and it won't be long before he's inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's a good finish from Inoue, it really is. He's shown and he's answered lots of questions. He really has, he's a great champion. Both so, so popular in Japan. And of course the fans will want their hometown hero to win this one. But I think secretly, Darren, given the legendary status of Denaire, all he's done for the sport of boxing, they will want him to finish on his feet. Neneo Inoue simply will not. 25 seconds to go in a quite memorable encounter here in Saitama. Denaire just willing himself forwards for one final time. This has been, honestly, a great contest. One of, one of the best fights I've seen. I've enjoyed this, I really have. It's been amazing and hats off to both guys fantastic stuff well they go toe to toe to the final bell smiles all round so so much better than any fan could have predicted a modern classic between these two Inoue will believe he's done enough there but my goodness he was pushed to the outer limits far harder than perhaps he ever anticipated there's just so much credit that we have to give to both contests look at that cut there that Anoue suffered so early on and to come back was was amazing and for Denaire you know the heart the, the what a warrior I mean it was it was incredible he was always in there always looked dangerous at one point not past far past the halfway stage I had Anoue up one and Donair on the ascendancy, looking very good, but back come Anoue, showing his class, showing his worth, showing why he's one of the best pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world. It was, it was honestly amazing stuff. Hats off to both guys. That, that was incredible. Well, we saw his younger brother, Takuma Anoue, fall short against Nordinu Bali. He learned a lot of world-level lessons tonight. Nayuru Inoue, if he comes through this, will owe Nonito Donier a great debt of gratitude for the lessons that no doubt he has taught him tonight. Absolutely, you know, that's all that was lacking in the resume of Inoue was experience and what he would have learned this evening will be invaluable. You cannot buy this. You know, it's all well and good putting bums on seats and, and, and knocking guys out, but that 12 rounds right there against a four-weight world champion will go and hold him in great stead. Look at the respect there, that, that's tremendous, that really is. Both great champions, both great guys, great ambassadors for the sport, and you see there, that, that, that's why this is the greatest sport in the world. Look at that, you know, two guys go to war for 12 rounds and then embrace each other like that. That's why I love this sport. Well, from Hooker Ramirez to Taylor Progray, we have been thoroughly Ladies spoiled with unifications this year. After 12 championship rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Luigi Boscaleri has a 116-111. Otavio Rodriguez, 117-109. And Robert Hoyle scores the bomb, 114-113. For your winner of the coveted Muhammad Ali Trophy, and the IBF and WBA Ring Magazine Bantamweight Champion of the World, still undefeated, Naroya, the master in the Well, there was a look of relief on his face as his hand was raised. Who are those cards? A little wide, Darren, the 114-113, perhaps and a little more effective than what we saw.
yeah, I had that, I knew I'd buy, buy a few there, not quite as wide as the, the first scorecard there, but that was, uh, that was great. Japanese boxing legend. Tony Muhammad Ali trophy about to be presented. Masahiko Farid Harada. So fighting Harada regarded as the best Japanese boxer of all time. He's the Japanese Boxing Association president, Boxing International Hall of Famer. From one Japanese legend to a young man that is fast becoming the next. Naori Inoue wins the Muhammad Ali Trophy and unifies the WBA Super and IBF Bantamweight Championships of the World. A tremendous contest and he got through it. He did. We've held that trophy, Chris. We know how heavy that is. So to be able to carry that after the war that he's just had. When you're 118 the... pounds as well. <laughs> yeah. So there's another pat on the back from me. To a new way, but that honestly, I, I, I'm in awe of what I've just watched there. I mean, the last two finals, this one and Taylor Pro Race, uh, honestly, Sauerland brothers could be extremely proud of what they've created here because you know that the, they were superb finals that are worthy of, of any title, anything laid on the line. That was tremendous stuff, and you know, the, the home fans will be absolutely delighted that the local man, their hero, their warrior, has come through. <laughs> 一般全日本人日本国籍コンディション秋山博史立賞より認定賞の上場でございます認定賞ラグビーチーム世界バンタム級IBF世界バンタム級チャンピオン井上直也との今日は2019年11月7日埼玉市において野仁と野也と12回
Yes, I think Donnell was a red true uh, champion because he's very strong and I got victorious, but I'm not the greatest all time yet. I think I have to go over and get stronger. So since next year on and on, I will keep fighting, I'll get victorious, and I, I want to be the strongest of all time. Congratulations on the victory. Arigato. Arigato. Naoya Inoue, ladies and gentlemen, the new winner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy for the World Boxing Super Series. Well, the question that will be put to him repeatedly, as always in boxing, Darren, what next? He's conquered 112, 15, and now the 118 pound division. People will call for perhaps what they believe could have been the final with Jim and Zalani Tete if the winner of that moved up, of course, vacated the WBO. They'd be mandatory for Manuel Navarrete at Super Bantam. But there are options for him in this weight division. Just get the feeling with the pattern and the narrative building to maybe a revenge fight with Nordini Bali, given what happened with Takuma Inoue tonight. That could be an option for him. He could be looking to become undisputed in this way. I, I think so, and it's what I'd like to see. I think the narrative's there for, for, for the fight against Bali. What he done to Takumi Anuya, uh, Anue, you know, beating his brother, and I think it just makes sense for me. I think you can really sell that contest in in Tokyo. But <laughs> you know, if you're Anue, the, the, the options there are so great. You know, he, he he's a superb fighter. He's so exciting, so entertaining, and you'd see him in there against anyone in any division. He really is. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say the finished article, but he's almost there. Well, how time flies for. The old master Nanito Denaro. It doesn't seem so long ago that we saw him doing what Naya Inoue has done tonight. It's a question that no doubt he'll be considering in the days to come. And if we don't see him again, what a journey it has been. Eight world titles across four weight divisions. Those wins over Vic Darchini and Wilfredo Vasquez, Fernando Montiel, and some memorable scraps with the likes of Nicholas Walters, Guillermo Rigondo, and Carl Frampton as well. This will have sat as possibly his toughest test given his age but in context it will read as another prime world champion that he faced head-on in a scintillating career spanning two decades and I don't think he'll have any regrets giving up that to a fighter as good as Nayo Rino. No and he put in a superb effort didn't he you know he had lots of lots of moments there where you thought he could be winning the fight but honestly that was tremendous and it's a great great way for me in my opinion for him to sign out a future Hall of Famer, superb stuff. Well, he cemented himself, the man on your screen, as the best bantamweight in the world tonight. Only perhaps the challenge of the WBO strap holder Zalani Tete may quash any remaining doubters. But for now, Naya Renue remains the man of the moment, the Super Series winner.